hello, and welcome to another episode of A Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stick. I'm holding it. We're playing that Madden 21. We are. Yeah, playing. It's great. Who are we playing as, Jonas? We're the Browns. Oh, Jonas, your favorite two brown boys here, right? Yep. I'm a brown boy. And... <laughs> Wow. And no, what are you, Jonas? Never, never, I would never call you that. <laughs> <laughs> would you call yourself a brown boy, Jonas? Nope. What I would do you never mean? call anybody a brown a... boy. The only brown boys I know and call are the Browns players. The brown boys. <laughs> Whoa, okay. How many of them? All of them? <laughs> Every single one okay, of them. Okay, okay. Including the coaches and the staff. All of them are brown. <laughs> yep. Just a bunch of brown boys <laughs> running the system. Wow. <laughs> How's that feel? Like, does it make you feel like a bigot? <laughs> does it make you angry? <laughs> does it hurt the blonde hairs on your arm? Do they stick up? Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> the Aryan blood and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it took a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> Aryan blood is like the funniest ish I've ever heard in my life, dude. I think I'm gonna start using Aryan blood more often. Yeah, you should. I think I should. I agree. Does that make your Aryan blood boil? Does that make your Aryan blood boil, boy? <laughs> <laughs> One of the most uh, d derogatory terms that came from the Harry Potter series, Jones. I know you didn't watch much of it. You probably saw one or two. No, 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 none of them. No. Was the term that was given to Harry Potter because he was both a muggle, which was a common human with no magical powers whatsoever, but his mom was a muggle and his dad was a magician. And magicians are, of course, like, uh, they were like uh, enlightened beings and they knew about magic and they can cast magic. Well, they would call Harry Potter a mudblood. <laughs> that sounds very hateful. It does, doesn't it? That sounds really hateful. It Sorry. really does, dude. It was crazy. And they'd be like, yo, it's this Harry Potter, that mud blood. And I was like, oh. Oh, this J.K. Rowling, she hates, like, minorities and, like, Wait, and homosexuals and transgenders. Shut up, really? She? Isn't she again? Didn't they say, like, that new book is very, like, transphobic or something? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I thought I she was, like, I thought they said that she was, like, racist and against, like, people being homosexual. Or, I mean, it would not surprise me, but I don't know if that's the truth. she came up with a term like that. Sounds like a term. I don't know. I'm it not does. trying to blame, make anyone a racist. I mean, if you She's, said H.P. Lovecraft, I'd be like, yes, 100%. But I don't know about like JK, her. not JK. <laughs> JK, say you're just JK. <laughs> JK, please be real. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know, man. Mudblood always stuck with me. <clears throat> I've used it on my friends. Yeah? No. Don't use it on your friends. No, dude. Don't. Do I've that. heard you use a st term that has part of that word in it before. I'm sorry, what? You, you've, there's a mud word I've heard you say before. I'm not. We're not going to start spitting slurs on the channel. This is just like start. Like, who slur innuendo? That's not going to be what we do here. I just, just, I mean. <laughs> Jesus. Man, <laughs> what's that term you use for Jewish people, Dynamite? Um, a, a upstanding citizen, Jonas. I've, I've never heard you use those. What? <laughs> I mean, I use those. <laughs> wow, no, use definitely them. not. I'm not. I don't use any words. No, dude. Like, yeah, this is not. It's not a good look. Especially in today's age. You, no, say, you say anything, everybody's going to know. I mean, just saying, anybody can say whatever they want. You know? Yeah, dude. Like, if we turn these microphones off, Jones, you can get as anti Semitic as you want, dude. Yeah, dude, I could. <clears throat> and turn it back on, and it's like, whoa, Ooh. dude, accountability. Yeah, exactly. Don't say anything anti Semitic. Yeah, dude, you know, it's interesting. You say things that offend people, and they find out, and they get mad, and you're like, oh, dude, I can say what I want, though. No, it's not even America. that. It's not even that. It's. Oh, you say things in front of people. In front of them. That's different. <laughs> like, it's okay if you talk behind their back? Yeah. But it's just, it's high school rules. You, you can say it behind their back, but if it's recorded, if somebody is going to say that you said it to the person, guess what? Just like in high school, they're going to be mad. What did Becky say about my hair? That effing bee. I swear to God, I hate her. 
Yeah, same same rules if you say a racist term and somebody tells somebody else you said a racist term. Yeah. You gotta, if you're going to say something crazy, make sure that you can trust the people that you're saying the crazy stuff around. All or right? you just not say crazy stuff. That's an option. But we're human. We're going to say crazy stuff. The other idea is that if I got up at, at, at lunchtime, stood up on the table and said, I hate black people. I'm black, by the way. I can say this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it is the same idea of getting on Twitter and saying, I hate black people. You're standing up in lunch. Everybody's going to hear about it. You're basically saying, hey, this is me. Read it anytime you want. Yeah. So yeah, yeah you're gonna you're gonna get. I, I I've, I've been a big advocate for cancel culture because I feel like you know people need to learn their lesson. As far as uh, so I first story Jonas I have about this is I remember there was a teacher who was a collegiate professor and she had a bachelorette party because she was getting married. Okay. Oh no, it was her daughter's bachelorette party. As a matter of fact, her daughter had a bachelorette party and she was getting married. And you know how bachelorette parties go. Everything has to be in the shape of a penis. I don't know why they do this, but it's they the do one, it. It's the one time it's okay for them to be phallic. I, I guess. I guess. It's just, hee hee, we're girls. We're gonna so her and her daughter had straws that had like sh- the shapes of little male, tips or yeah, male phalluses on the end. And uh, the college found found the picture, and they were like, uh, "Well, we can't have you working here with these pictures on your thing because it makes the college look bad or whatever." It was a pretty prestigious college, and they found it on her Facebook page. And she was like, "Are you serious? It's me and my daughter. It's a bachelorette party. You know, she's getting married. You know, there's nothing. There's goofy, goofy mom and daughter. Yeah, there's no nudity. There's no nudity. Nothing like that. And you know." On the same note, I have lost a job in the past because of a quote-unquote off-color joke that I've made on Facebook on a Facebook forum. Yeah, dude. And since then, I have never been back to Facebook because I don't see the risk being where the juice is not worth the squeeze. The- yeah, dude. It's a lot of... Yeah, dude. I, I, I deactivate... Well, I only used Facebook... Uh, for uh, volleyball and improv for my groups because that's why I found out where the games are and for stuff with, with uh, improv and stuff and then yep. so since since pandemic started I have I deactivated my Facebook account in March because I was not using it for the things I needed it for and I have not even thought about it since the day that I deactivated it <laughs> and once volleyball and uh, improv come back I will reactivate it and just look at those groups and then that will be it you never you scroll the feed see what your mom's up to I did your- when I w- like it, it's like you can't help yourself, like, because I would be on there. I'd be like, let me check the group, see if there was a game tonight anywhere for volleyball, and I'd be like, oh, let me see what everybody's up to, and then immediately I would just regret it. Oh yeah, dude. So it's been nice, and then like, so it was getting crazy on there right before pandemic started. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I knew what was about to happen the second everything started shutting down. And I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? Save myself the strife and just shut down Facebook forever. <laughs> Just the idea of all those people. They just show you pe- faces of people that you know. And you're like, oh, I know him. I wonder what he's up to. Oh, he's into that. You know what Facebook teaches you? Is that you know a lot of messed up people. Eh, I think it teaches you that we're all messed up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, mean, I don't t- think I'm normal, but like, I think I'm pretty average. Uh, I would say that you have no like red flags necessarily. There's probably some in there I don't know about. Yeah, but, dude, you know. but I mean, like, I'm not on there, like, talking-ish about, like, I'm not, like, yeah, I'm not, like, a, in alt-right groups and, like, you know, it's just, like, <laughs> talking about crazy, Thank God, you know, talking about crazy crap on the, dude, everyone's just, like, I don't know, dude. I feel like we're media trained at this point, though, to a certain extent. I think we're self-media trained. We're part of the media, dude. Yeah. We are. We do. Honestly, Jones, we are. Whether you like it or not, we are 100% media trained and a part of the media. We just don't necessarily have the largest following, but we are. We we have we've been doing the podcast long enough, and we went through the, the PC era where we were just overly PC. Yeah, dude. We're still kind of in that there that I area. I mean, we say some stuff, dude. Like yeah. we, we let it go. We I mean, we don't say ignorant stuff. No, in general, exactly. Like, the, our worst of the worst is maybe just like a stupid joke, if anything. But we're not like saying things that people are gonna go back. Like 
we've done what, like 150 episodes of the podcast, and I do not feel that I've said anything on there that someone would be like, "Oh my god, let's cancel him." <laughs> like they may be like, "That was a can. stupid joke" or something like that. But I don't feel like I've said anything that's like so that could come across so offensive that like. <laughs> <laughs> they could easily cancel you, Jones. They could just stop listening. It's like one person stops what, listening. One person? We're canceled. That's bad. <laughs> right? We're that's, that's 10 percent Jonas. A guy <laughs> forgets his password, the iTunes, and then like all of a sudden he has to, he doesn't remember who he subscribed to and we're looking for a PPP loan. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> we have, we have a, we're, we, you know, we need to get our PPP loans. <laughs> I need a PPP loan. I'm Jonas. <laughs> I'm not loaning you my PP, all right? <laughs> this is disgusting. <laughs> it's, it's always you that takes it there. Dude, you are, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Me and Jonas have this. Uh, we have this running gag in the house of who is going to be the first man to bring up uh, a, a male phallus in the house, you, dude, just in a joke, you. just in a joking manner. Like he'll be like, "Oh, dude, don't punch me in the D," and I'll be like, "I'm not gonna punch you in the D, dude." Yeah, you were. <laughs> don't look at my D. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's the way it is. <laughs> no, dude, don't punch me in the knee. That was good. Dude. Like, yeah, you were, dude. You were me in the knee. No, it's a con- We've had that conversation. Have we? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Maybe, right? in your, maybe in your head, dude. I don't know what in your life. <laughs> oh, my God. Why does anybody watch this stuff? No, nobody <laughs> does, dude. Oh, that's no. <laughs> oh my Why would god. Because, like, dude, they'll watch other people play bad and they'll be like, yeah, dude, that play went good, dude. Yeah, dude, let's run the ball. And then we're like, <laughs> pee, dude, dude, pee. Dude, okay, yeah, that was great. Uh, so, why, <laughs> if, if you made it this far into the video, why, why, dude, why? Just tell me Put why. In the comments, why do you watch us? Tell me why. Tell I need me to why. know. Because I mean, I I think we I think we put out a quality product. I'm not I'm trying to, trying to sit here and detract from the fact that I think we don't put out a quality product. Yeah. But I I need to know what. I mean, I think we put out a somewhat entertaining product. Whether it's garbage or not, it's a whole other story. I mean, you know, it's it, okay. It's a product. We put out a product. All right. I just need to know what niche we fill in in the hearts of the. Yeah, dude. Do you watch us because we're funny? Do you watch us because we play Madden? Do you watch us because you like our voices and think they're fun? Or do you just are you just one of those weird people that like to watch car crashes and train wrecks? Right, you dude. You're like, I'm gonna see what they say next because it's all stupid. Oh my god, these guys are awful. Do you just like? Do you like to feel the cringe? Are you like a cringe a file lord? A no, a cringe file. <laughs> we'll go with cringe. We're, we're the cringe lords. Are, I'm, I'm are a, we the cringe lords? I'm a cringe lord. You dude. are a cringe lord. But I you say know a lot of cringe stuff. I like dad jokes. Yep. Yeah. So that's cringe. Those are pretty cringy. Yeah, dude, I'll, I'll take them. I'll own them. You should. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. There's thousands of hours of... <laughs> recorded tape of you doing it. <laughs> No, For I, you not to own it would just be dude, disingenuous can, to the listener. I need to figure out how many minutes of us talking there is. Well, there. we got over 2,500 videos at this point. No, and I don't know. We have like 2,000. We don't? Okay, so we got 2,000 videos. And they average about 30 minutes a piece. No, nah, 20 minutes a piece. You got to downplay No, but you got to say we got podcasts that are like an hour, two hours. We have like videos yeah, that are. Yeah, still go low ball just so that you can get a baseline. Well, I was going to say 30 minutes a piece because it's easy to figure out how many hours. 20 is just doubling the number. There's. There's 20 is way easy. in an hour. <clears throat> be doubling the number. <laughs> 2,000 hours. 2,000 episodes at 30 a pop would be 1,000 hours. <laughs> so if it was 20 minutes a pop, which we don't have hardly any videos. I know. That's why I say you lowball. So you haven't. You so haven't. we'll say 800 hours. 800 hours. So about 1,000 so we'll- hours. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, I'm sorry. I know it was okay. Fine, whatever. <laughs> I was just gonna round up anyway. 
You low ball to round up to what the number was be closer to in the first place. I, I figured that, you know, there's probably about 200 hours in there that were unaccounted for in the initial equation. Yeah, yeah. And you just... Yeah, so, yeah, so we have about a thousand, literally like a thousand hours. <laughs> It's, no one can get that time back. No, dude. They can't, they can't get the time It's going back. forever, dude. How no. many days is a thousand hours? Uh, yeah. I'll look at I'll do it. Boom. That's not, you know, honestly, I put more time in Overwatch. Um, 1,000 divided by, oh, wait, 1,000 hours to days is 41 days. You know, it's only a month and a half worth of talking. Talk solid. 41.5 days, you know. Divided by eight, because say eight hours. If you watched it for a job, how long would it take? Well, it'd be three times, so it'd be 120. It'd be three months. Yeah. So, so if you watched our channel eight hours a day, it would take you three months to go through our content. Hey, man. Dude, Dude that's good. That like, gives you something to do. Well, like, think about in that. In a ladder. If you Sorry. made the dedication to watch our channel two hours a day, it would take you a long, it would take you a whole year to get through our channel. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, two hours. Yeah. Wow. Why don't you do that for us? <laughs> Why don't you do that for Start us? Start with episode one. <clears throat> watch two hours a day. Dude, I would love. I I actually would love to go back and watch like Moonlighter just to see how that was going and like uh, dude Celeste. The first game it was a way out. Yeah, that was one of one of the first ones that we actually got a viewer to on. I think. I well, yeah, because that was the first. Because we did uh, we did a little bit of Fortnite. Mm -hmm. And then, the, yeah, the first game we played, like, the co-op was the wow. a way out. Yeah. All right, cool. Dude, all right, that's all the time Number we have lane. for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, he does Twitch. TNT Dynamite I'm on Twitch every single day at, TN at 10 o'clock a.m. Central. That's TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Uh, for Jonas. Dude. We'll catch you on the next one. We uh, are out. Uh